This is a vaginal speculum, used in routine pelvic exams and pap smears. If you've ever used this and disliked the experience, you are not alone. This video shows what a typical pap smear looks like. As you can see from the comments on the screen, there are a lot of concerns from women who undergo these procedures regularly. There are even several pleas for a complete redesign of the instrument. As a matter of fact, this project came about from the first-hand experience of one of our team members. So this project is really personal to me. It was inspired by me going in for my first pap smear last year and my doctor asking me, hey, you're an engineer, right? Do you have any ideas on how to make this better? As mentioned, there is a push for a speculum redesign from healthcare professionals. This is because since its inception in the 1800s, the speculum has never really been patient-centric. The first ever speculum was made from the bent handle of a gravy spoon back in the late 1800s. And over the years, this has evolved. And today on the market, we have two main types of speculums. We have the metal speculums, an example shown here, and we also have the plastic kind. We consulted our Purdue nursing counterparts to get their perspective as healthcare professionals. Here's what they have to say. Some current issues that come to mind with the current speculum are mainly focused on discomfort. A lot of patients are afraid of getting pap smears and exams due to the speculum. And this is often because the speculum itself is not comfortable for patients. The metal speculums are often cold, which it adds on another layer of discomfort as well as the material in the plastic speculums are not often well supported for obese patients and not holding up their sidewalls very well. This corroborates our customer discovery results that revealed about 26% of 79 surveyed patients attributed avoiding pelvic exams due to concerns about the speculum. Some of these concerns include discomfort and pain during insertion, the coldness of metal speculums, pinching of tissue during the procedure, unpleasant clicking sounds, and more. Although this is something that a lot of patients experience, this is very dangerous because this can lead to an increased risk of developing certain um, reproductive health issues like cervical cancer. Um, and so we really want to redesign the speculum so that patients stop avoiding these exams. As part of our customer discovery, we conducted a gap analysis and market research to determine the viability of our product. From our initial research, we found about 75 million patients, women aged 15 to 65, or women of reproductive age, as our total market. We then figured out that about 26% of women avoid getting pap smears. This leads us to about 15 million patients that we can address. This leads us to our proposed solution, the Caesar speculum that boasts a three-blade design made of clear resin, three different speculum sizes, a small insertion diameter, 130 degree slanted cylindrical handle, and supports a single-handed operation. This speculum is new and different from all other speculums currently on the market, featuring a variety of features for both patient and provider comfort. To begin, the tip of the speculum is the width of a regular size tampon. This is to allow for ease of insertion and for comfort of the patient during use. It also eliminates the need for rotation once the speculum has been inserted. The speculum also features three conical blades. This is to, again, minimize the amount of friction experienced by the patient during use and prevents the need to rotate the speculum during insertion. The speculum features a brand new opening mechanism, which is different from all others currently on the market. The opening mechanism consists of two springs and a thumb tab lever. To open the speculum, pull down on the trigger this expands the upper two blades, which expands the vaginal walls and allows for clear visualization of the cervix. To close the speculum, simply pull the tab towards you and return the thumb trigger to its initial position. The speculum also features an angled handle of approximately 130 degrees. This is to allow for provider comfort during use and to prevent any sort of contact between the provider and the patient that may be unwanted. Early in our research, we came across an article by The Atlantic that lists some of the pains associated with redesigning the device and how this might deter people from tackling this problem. And after going through many iterations ourselves and searching for the perfect design, we've come up with the next generation of speculums that truly prioritizes patient comfort and accommodates a variety of vaginal sizes. This is the Caesar Speculum, made for women by women.